gentlemen, James Miller! What's going on? I'm feeling really good tonight. I'm actually celebrating tonight. I'm celebrating the fact that I recently lost a little over 22 pounds. Oh my God! Yeah. It's awesome. My tits don't jiggle when I walk anymore. So you know we're making progress there. I've actually been trying to lose weight because I wanted to start dating again. Like, and it's already hard for me because I'm at a very awkward dating age. I'm 35 years old. So I'm a little too old for cougars, but I'm a little too young for girls with daddy issues. So I'm just falling in this weird dating slot. I've actually, uh, I've been single a very long time. Like, I've been single for so long, I wouldn't know what to do with a girlfriend. Like, a girl could be like, James, will you be my boyfriend? You mean, you mean like Facebook friends who play Farmville and shit? Like, yeah, I can, I can do that, yeah. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen a girl naked that wasn't in a porno. My girl could just walk in butt naked, I'd probably just stare at her tits and wait for somebody else to come in and fuck her. <laughs> Is the other dude coming soon, or? <laughs> uh, I actually got so lonely, I called the Enterprise rental car. Uh, not because I needed a rental car, but because they come pick you up, and I wanted to feel like I was on a date. <laughs> Apparently, someplace romantic is not an appropriate destination request with Enterprise rental car. <laughs> Made that gentleman very uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tried to sign up for online dating. Uh, a bunch of my friends did it. I figured I'd give it a shot. I wanted to find a website where I can meet college seniors. I figure they're graduating college, they have a future ahead of them, but they're too young to realize I'm not good enough for them. Turns out I may... <laughs> Took you a second on that one, fellas. <laughs> Turns out I made a very bad mistake. Seniorsmeet.com is not for college seniors. Uh, it's for senior citizens. But fuck it, I went with it. I don't have a lot of other options right now. <laughs> Me and Esther are very happy. Uh, it, it actually it worked out dating a senior citizen. Like, she gets tired by 7, 8 o'clock at night, so I have plenty of time for video games. Her social security checks pay for almost all my weed. And because of her glaucoma, I get access to this great strain called Really, Really, Really OG Kush. So it's working out for me. I'm going to stick with Esther. I've had such bad relationships in the past though, like, I was recently dating a girl that was 19 years old, and before you judge me, fuck you, I can still pull it. <laughs> she looked at me one night and she's like, baby, I want you to make love to me all night long, all night long. Bitch, it's Tuesday, I gotta get up in the morning, I got a fucking day job all night long. You get 12 minutes and roll your little hot ass over and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I've always wanted a guitar solo after my joke. <laughs> Goals achieved. <laughs> I used to date this girl that was an iPod terrorist. If you don't know what an iPod terrorist is, I'll explain it to you. She would wait until I went to bed, take her earbuds, put them in my ear, turn her iPod on real low, and play really horrible songs so they'd be stuck in my head the whole next day. I came in like a wrecking ball. Y'all, I'm a 35-year-old heterosexual man. I cannot walk around all day singing Miley Goddamn Cyrus. It's, it's not a good look for me. It's all right, though. When I realized what she was doing, I got her back. Waited till she was going to the gym one day, took her earbuds, boom, stuck them up my ass. It's all right. They're small. Didn't hurt much. After about a week of me doing this, she comes home from the gym and she's like, Honey, I think I have an ear infection. <laughs> Must be all that shitty music you listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I had an ex-girlfriend that used to tell me I had commitment issues. I'm like, you have commitment issues. You can't commit to anything. And then she told me she had a rape roleplay fantasy. I said, Alright, I'll show this bitch. I'll commit to that. Did a bunch of research, watched some Lifetime movies. That's the research. You guys are too young, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime's this channel where every movie a woman gets raped. That's just all that happens on Lifetime, so. I did some research. Then one night, real late, I cut her phone line, I kicked in the door, I grabbed her by her shoulders and said, oh shit, I forgot my girlfriend moved like two days ago. 
This little old lady looked me right in my eye. I said, James from SeniorsMeet.com? Gertrude? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm James Bell. That's my time tonight. Yeah.